Yo everyone, Lost Poem aka Cryptosmith here for this week's Bitcoin and Crypto update and as you can see I'm wearing my Monero t-shirt today. Love, light and peace and let's get started. Not financial advice of course, just my attempt to share some pearls of wisdom just grabbing the bits of information here from here there and everywhere how do you get this information it just comes to you this stuff just flies through the air they send this information out it means it's beamed out all over the place you want to just know how to grab it so you know how to grab it first of all let's just have a look at the bitcoin price on this day since 2013. i when i looked at this it was on the 11th of december and it was using the CoinGecko historical data feature on BTC. So 2013, $897.27. 2014, $351. 2015, $435. 2016, $778. 2017, $1655. 2018, $3438. 2019, $7200. 2020, December 11th. 2020, right in the thick of the pandemic, 18,807. 2021, 50,051. So, um, just coming down from the all time high, I think it was November that year, 2022, 17,179. And on the 11th of December 2023, it was 41,201. So you can see it's done all right. And if we look at the BTC price as of today, 42577.47 on the 14th of December. Now, what do you think about this approach, folks? I would term it the scattergun approach, and it's obviously fairly high risk, so you'd want to do it with small amounts of cash, small amounts of investment, say $10, $15 here and there. A scattergun approach, so how about if you were to buy some really cheap cryptos on the exchange maybe just leave it on the exchange 10 15 dollars here and there bit of this bit of that and um, then just leave it there and watch and wait and see if it grows um, one I've been looking at just recently was this crypto called Scala and um, it's on a couple of trading pairs um, including Litecoin as well as Bitcoin so you could Always send Litecoin to trade at Oga if you can be bothered to send Monero there. And um, at the moment, this um, crypto is pretty low in price. But if you look at the all-time high, so if we flip over to CoinGecko, search for it on there. Scala XLA. The all-time high, I think, was in November 2021, where most coins had their all-time high, all dragged up by, by Bitcoin ATH. It was 0 0.003, so at the moment it's two noughts after the decimal point. There's an extra one there, so 0 .0 0 4. So imagine if that had a new all-time high. And you can do the same kind of like maybe on even KYC exchanges if you use them, Coinbase, Kraken, whatever. Um, if this is going to actually ask me to log in now, but um, oh, and let's see if we can do the explore feature even without logging in. Just some um, cheap and cheerful cryptos so cardano mentioned on my last one is quite low um something like tron you know 0.0827 what if you chucked oh it's not supported on coinbase but that's uh, that's a bad um example but you get the point so I polygon um but even like ones that are lower than that Let's see if we can get one. What about Casper? 
and you chucked 10 15 dollars on that and for some re for some bizarre reason that did really well in the bull run in fact casper is on trade ogre as well interestingly um now ordinarily you would need to do thorough research on the crypto before you buy it especially if you're investing lots of money um and there is a video by coin bureau where he explains you how to do that the fundamentals um how to thoroughly research a project before you throw your money on it but with this approach you know you're just sort of um scattering small amounts sowing seeds here and there and hoping they might grow in the bull run you might make a few bucks from it um so the pressure isn't on you to do as much a thorough research because it's sort of like bits of money that you can afford to lose potentially if it didn't do well. And the reason I mention this, there was a coin, I think it's a meme coin called Beefy. And this guy, I think he put $3.60 on it or something. And it pumped and turned into $100,000. That's what I heard. He, he risked nothing, but he got super lucky. Um, and out of that and i guess some people have the same with pepe coin as well there's a little idea um i've set myself a challenge and that is to teach myself pancake swap because i haven't really used it and i think it's probably time just to get into this and um get my metamask back up and running and start getting ready for kind of like the DeFi stuff and um, the web3 stuff yeah so you can connect your metamask here and i think you need ethereum mostly for pancakes or well, but no maybe solana i have to like i say i've got to dig into this because there's another example of kind of like the scattergun approach where you can get um little piddly little mean coins that are worth like a fraction of a penny or something and just leave them in your metamask and wait and see if they do well um and you've not really lost out because you've not thrown huge amounts at it um you can use this pancake swap for all kinds of cool things like farming staking stuff all the rest of it so it's a whole topic and once i get my head around it i'll probably do another video just on this um games and nfts and yeah it's quite a fun thing to have a play with this one let's move on to a few places you can go for good crypto news if you want cutting edge latest news this coin paprika one's pretty good the thing i like about that is you get like the carousel of news items rolling at the top so you can just um home in on any items that you're interested in. Um, Cointelegraph has a news section. Um, CoinGecko, of course. And also some newsletters that you can sign up to. Um, so they'll send you like a week daily or a weekly email update. Uh, I recommend that you might want to if you're going to sign up to a few of these, set up a dedicated crypto email address so that these are all coming in there and not clouding up your personal email. And then you can choose as when you want to look at them. So if you go onto the relay site, they're like a Swiss Bitcoin company and scroll down, you can actually sign up to their newsletter somewhere down here. Yeah pop your email in there and then you'll get their weekly letter. It's pretty good there one. And they're looking at it sort of from a European perspective as well. Crypto Nutshell is the Jamie Tree newsletter. Uh, CoinGecko have a newsletter. And CoinMarketCap have a newsletter as well. So you, if you like getting uh, sort of like push alerts, email alerts, um, on pertinent news items these guys are sort of on the ball and the stuff they tend to divulge is quite interesting and cutting edge um some youtube channels that i recommend you um subscribe to as well if you like video updates crypto tips savvy finance 
Monero talk if you're interested in homing in on just the Monero topic. That's really good. Coin Bureau, Jamie Tree, The Crypto Vigilante, Crypto Rich, Coin Gecko, of course, Coin Cider, Coin Market Cap. Those are a few uh, selection ones that I'm subscribed to. Can be information overload. You'll get the uh, the ones that you prefer, and those are the ones that you'll tend to go be your go-to people for video updates. Um, and the other thing I was looking at as well is like price comparison to sign up for crypto clubs. Um, two that I've been part of in the past. One is a defund the matrix crypto club. Um, I I'm not a member right now. Um, although I'm quite involved in their off-topic chat groups uh, on Telegram. But I checked the latest price, it was $137 per month. Um, well, compare that with the, the Crypto Vigilante is $899 per year. And the Crypto Tips, uh, these guys, they seem to have a special deal on $15 a month for their crypto club. Um, that can be kind of good to join one because then you get like community support and if there's a discord server or a telegram group um, that comes with that you can fire off questions in there um, you'll get um, you know the bosses will provide answers but also you get the community then provide you with help um, so that can that can be a good idea it's something I've done in the past I have been a member of couple of different crypto clubs so to speak monthly subscription and um, some of them you can actually pay in crypto as well um, if you want sort of help but you need to have confidence in who they are first so find out about who they are like you say you were thinking of joining crypto tips they've got a bit of a bargain on at the moment I think that runs out in maybe 15 10 15 days but if you like the sound of who they are you really thoroughly check them out first then then sign up don't just sort of dive in there because you you can end up um, you know in some sort of trap um, there's a lot of scams out there you have to be really super careful with all this kind of stuff I was going to talk about some other um, uh, places to go for crypto news you've got discover crypto another one Coffeezilla. Coffeezilla, that's who I was thinking of. He's another crypto guy as well. Um, uh, pretty awesome. And Bitcoin Magazine. Also, a uh, couple of, if you like reading Substack and stuff like that. Um, I'll point you to my Substack. So, ruin.substack.com. It's not very structured at the moment, but I'm just chucking stuff in there. But it's pretty useful if you're looking for how to stuff. And I tend to replicate the information into Medium as well at CryptoSmith Freedom. Three F's in there, isn't it? Um, I tend to replicate the same um, stories across. I guess some people prefer medium to a fitting analogy actually two houses that are you know being built just in the process of going up um, not far from where I am and they took both of them well one in particular has taken absolutely ages but little by little the builders are gradually kind of getting there the other one has also taken a long time but it's gradually um, coming together that one actually almost complete and looking fantastic so this is a good analogy for how you wrap your head around crypto is just kind of just keep building on it little by little by little building up your knowledge taking in more information gradually you're going to become um, conversant and fluent on the topic but it takes time because it's complex you've got so many areas you've got exchanges DeFi, bitcoin blockchain um, mining, staking, proof of work, proof of stake. You know, it's an in-depth topic. Uh, it's cryptography stuff. Um, 
and you've got white papers to read and you've got projects to research you've got to find out who is who in the crypto world and keep on top of things so just little by little chip away at it and that's how you build your knowledge up so now let's finally move on to a roundup of the latest crypto news Donald Trump victory in 2024 would propel Bitcoin to 2 trillion market cap as the SEC's hostile regulatory approach would be dismantled. Remains to be seen. On this day 13 years ago, December 13th, 2010, Satoshi Nakamoto, the creator of Bitcoin, disappeared. Richard Hart has been served by the SEC. I think he's a con man, personally, myself, the guy who's behind Hex. Guys, remember in the last video how I uh, suggested chucking a bit of money into XEQ? Well, it's just pumped 300%. So that is how it can pay off when you take a punt on a cheap coin.